good morning in our previous session we have discussed about what is environmental pollution and we have also discussed primary pollutants in that oxides of sulfur now let us discuss sources ill effects and control of oxides of carbon and oxides of nitrogen firstly carbon monoxide so carbon monoxide what are the main sources of carbon monoxide the main source of carbon monoxide is so 42% of carbon monoxide as the graph says recent study says that 42% of carbon monoxide is obtained by road vehicles so road road vehicles it might be bus lorry so any type of vehicles two wheelers four wheelers cars any type of road transport so road transport mainly involves so public transport it is buses four wheelers and two wheelers so 42% it mainly is caused due to road transport and road vehicles and 45% that is other transportation that is it might be our airways or railways so railways due to diesel engines and remaining 7% by miscellaneous and residential so uh, residential and other contribution minor contribution due to industrial sources smelters primary metals so as we all know any type of any type of pollution it will be caused due to mainly by natural source other thing as anthropogenic source the natural source of carbon monoxide is due to natural source of carbon monoxide is mainly uh, due to forest fire decaying of vegetable matter so when methane undergoes when methane undergoes oxidation it gives carbon monoxide and water it is that is that is when uh, vegetable matter undergoes de uh, degradation so vegetable matter undergoes anaerobic degradation it de gives methane this methane undergoes further oxidation gives carbon monoxide and water so water it is vapor methane once again it's a pollutant so anthropogenic source what is anthropogenic source so how it is that is man made due to human interference how carbon monoxide is emitted the main source is fossil fuels so as we have already seen on our few uh, on our uh, previous in our previous slide 45 percent is due to road transport that is four wheelers buses etc right that is incomplete combustion of fossil fuels so all are i mean fossil fuels it's not necessarily be wood it is our petrol diesel kerosene right so petrol diesel we are we are completely depend on that for our uh, transportation and also for production of electricity etc so when we depend upon that so due to incomplete combustion of fuels so the exhaust whichever is coming out of the automobile exhaust it contains carbon monoxide you can see the following reactions here so 2c plus oxygen gives carbon monoxide carbon dioxide also undergoes degradation to give you carbon monoxide so the reactions of carbon dioxide with higher temperature is as follows here so the main anthropogenic source is combustion incomplete combustion of incomplete combustion of fuel in our automobiles so next so what are the ill effects the main ill effect of carbon monoxide is that is the permissible limit is less than 10 ppm if it, if it exceeds more than 10 ppm so what are the ill effects it causes headache it causes weak eyesight it causes nervousness it causes cardiovascular disorder so it is in lesser ppm if it is 11 ppm or 12 ppm that causes headache so if it causes weak high eyesight it causes nervous weakness so if, it, if the concentration if you are regularly exposed to carbon monoxide it causes cardiovascular disorder what is this cardiovascular disorder when it causes that is if the concentration exceeds 40 ppm that is and that is 10 to 20 then only just the headache eyesight nervousness if it crosses 40 ppm then it is cardiovascular disorder what is cardiovascular disorder so when we inhale the air so what will happen oxygen we breathe in and we breathe out carbon dioxide so when we breathe in oxygen oxygen will combine with hemoglobin and it will form oxyhemoglobin and it is carried out throughout the blood cells and oxygen will be taken by the cells 
and gives out carbon dioxide and carboxy hemoglobin will become it will come to the heart once again and will exhale carbon dioxide but when carbon monoxide is in, inhaled the car, our, uh, hemoglobin is more fond of carbon monoxide than oxygen it will attach the hemoglobin will get attached to carbon monoxide it will form carboxy hemoglobin and it stops carrying oxygen to the cells as I have shown in this uh, slide here. So the carboxy hemoglobin will act as a slow poison. So the carboxy hemoglobin will be carried throughout the cell. So the oxygen concentration will reduce. Therefore, what happens? The person who inhales carbon monoxide in higher concentration first will face breathing problem, will faint and finally He'll, he'll get, I mean, that is fine, means he'll get unconscious and finally he may, it may lead to death. So, that is very, very serious problem. Carbon monoxide should not be inhaled in higher concentration. Then, what are the ill effects? Now, how to control this carbon monoxide? The carbon monoxide can be controlled because the main source of this carbon monoxide is automobile exhaust. So, you're supposed to fit in a catalytic converter. This catalytic converter contains platinum and rhodium as a catalyst. So when this, there is a three-way catalyst. When this carbon monoxide enters this catalytic converter, so if there is a, if you have, if this, this is the exhaust, so before the exhaust, you're going to put a catalytic converter like this. So the exhaust will pass in through the catalytic converter. So here, what will happen? Carbon monoxide will get converted to carbon dioxide and through the exhaust here, it will come out. So the entire carbon monoxide is converted to carbon dioxide. Of course, carbon dioxide will increase global warming, but does not affect any, it will not cause any health disorder. Other thing is, it suppose depend completely on renewable energy. So the main uh, alternate is renewable energy. In order to control this pollution, main thing is renewable energy. So next, let us see oxides of nitrogen. So the sources, ill effects and control. The sources. So here, 58% is once again caused by on-road and non-road sources. Mean be, may, may be cars, trucks, trains. On-road means cars, trucks. Non-road means uh, trains. Again, 29% is uh, caused by stationary fuels combustion and 10% uh, is caused by industry and other processes and the remaining 3% is caused by miscellaneous. So, the sources once again burning of fuel, bacteria, soil, lightning also causes uh, formation of oxides of nitrogen. So, we have what? Anthropogenic source. So, in internal combustion engine, once again, fuels. Okay. So, we are using fertilizers, nitrogen fixing bacteria, rhizo, ribosomes. So, for few of the crops, these ribosomes are very, very essential. For example, for uh, potato, for paddy, these ribosomes are very, very essential. So, because of this, what will happen? Oxides of nitrogen will increase in the atmosphere. So, we have paper industry, fertilizer plants and explosive industries. Also, uh, this nitrogen, nitrogen is essential. Because of nitrogen, these oxides of nitrogen are produced. These are the anthropogenic sources of the oxides of nitrogen. So, what are the ill effects of these oxides of nitrogen? This causes eye irritation at lower level. It causes uh, asthma, that is respiratory problem. So, at higher level of exposure to oxides of nitrogen, it even causes lung cancer. So, at lower concentration of it is exposed, it causes eye irritation, it causes asthma. At higher level, it causes lung cancer. So, it may also lead to acid rain. So, acid rain, the main example, so because of sulfur dioxide also, acid rain and because of oxides of uh, nitrogen also there will, it causes acid rain. The best example in uh, is one of the monument Taj Mahal. The marble color is pure white. So because of this dry corrosion, the monument color has become light yellow in color. So because of corrosion. The industries which are surrounded to Taj Mahal is tandra industries, leather industries. The sulfur is coming out of these industries ice which is leading to corrosion. As I have already discussed, sulfur dioxide lead to metal corrosion. So this is made up of calcium. So it forms calcium sulfide 
therefore it causes therefore uh, it causes uh, calcium sulfide and yellow it gives yellow color to the uh, yellow color to our uh, monument now how to control this so once again passing these gases through a catalytic converter which contains platinum and rhodium catalyst so which converts these toxic gases to non toxic nitrogen and carbon dioxide so other thing is once again depending upon renewable energy so main alternate energy is renewable energy in order to decrease the air pollution we are supposed to depend upon renewable energy and there is no other go not to prevent carbon monoxide emission or not to pollution not to uh, prevent sulfur dioxide uh, pollution oxides of nitrogen pollution so not decrease this almost 60 to 80 percent we are supposed to depend upon renewable energy only only then we can decrease this to maximum extent thank you